Hi, welcome to the awesome.net Maui videos playlist. In this kind of videos, we are going to review one community library or plugin that includes new functionality or includes new possibilities to learn that Maui. So let's go. While I continue including new libraries to the awesome.net Maui repository, this time I want to talk about uh, two libraries. I usually will talk just about uh, one package, one library, but in this time I'm going to talk about two ones mostly because the two are related, because are from the same author, but also one of the libraries have dependencies in the another one. So this time I'm going to start talking about input kit. Yeah, the name is Shaman Informs Input Kit, but the library already is like inputkit.maui. It's available on uh, Nugget. There is uh, really nice documentation and it's created by any software developer at Colossal from Tuki. This library is a set of uh, input controls. So include a checkbox with uh, customization about the belief, you know, about the text, etc. The same with the radio button where you can customize the glyph, etc. There is a advanced entry allowing you to set from borders, from different options, different icons, uh, customize different colors, uh, uh, include an annotation message, of course, customize annotation message, states if it's enabled, disabled, and also including different new events to manage if you are editing the test or it's complete. This is another nice control. And then finally, we have the selection view that use present different options to, to the user to, to choose. You can have different options this way, allowing the, uh, the user to choose between all, all these options. Let's take a look to all these controls running already on a .NET MAUI sample application. And then let's dip very quickly to the source code. So this is the code from the library. And this is the library running on uh, .NET MAUI sample on Android. Let's start by the checkbox. It's allow you to set different, of course, uh, colors, but also allow you to customize the glyph that you can use inside the control. Similar to what happens to the ready button, we can use the ready button with the normal glyph, but you can customize the shape by anything else. Then we have the advanced entry. It's a really interesting entry that uh, allows you to customize the border of the control, but also you can customize the keyboard, you can customize the different events, colors, etc. And finally, we have the selection view that uh, it's a view that allows you to select an option from. Taking a look to the code, the input kit Maui library, have a couple of handlers to draw the icons, but mostly all the controls are composition controls or controls created by the composition of other more basic .NET MAUI elements. For example, if we go and take a look to the controls, we have, for example, the checkbox. The checkbox is a composition of shapes and labels. So we can draw any uh, a rectangle with the border of uh, the checkbox, a path to draw the clip and a label to draw the text of the control. It's a very well organized code with many documentation. You can find very quickly all the bindable properties and what's going on on every bindable uh, property and every change. And then there is a sandbox, a sample, that is what I am running to show what are the options, where we have uh, a page, a main page, that is navigation to all uh, different options to showcase what are, for example, the possibilities with every control. For example, we have here the use of the advanced slider that, if I remember well, I forget to show very quickly. It's really interesting because allow you to customize the text on the value. 
also the suffix, the prefix, etc., allow you to create uh, experience like this one. And at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that I'm going to talk about two different libraries. The two ones are created by Ennis, and the second one, it's a really, really new one. It's the last thing that I included to the awesome.maui plugin and libraries list, and it's called Uranium UI Kit. It's a free and open source uh, library with a set of controls and utilities to create modern applications with .NET Map. Between all the options include a couple of libraries to get access to all the material and font awesome icons from that uh, fonts and also include uh, some templates and uh, components controls to create UI like this one and between all the options we can see that uh, Ennis has in mind things like a calendar or a rate control but already there are at least two three really really important controls like for example a tree view a view or a grid so let's jump to the uranium ui demo as always and then and then we are going to take a quick look to the code so this is the uranium sample. We have uh, a lateral menu with access to the all, all the options. We can uh, see the different controls uh, like these button ships uh, with options to, to span. This is really typical to, for example, create a, a music player, for example. And we have also this backdrop option allowing you to span an option with a filter and then we have two big controls one it's the data grid you can create simple data grid but also you can customize it with uh, different layouts colors etc for example including a remove button and then we have also selectable options in the data grid to select for example different rows and we can use for example delete the selected rows etc at the same time we have a tap view control this is for example the simple tap view control we can change the placement of the tabs and also we can customize the template the ui from every tab to something different like for example checkbox two really really interesting controls with more options like different options like elevation different controls, applying the material design uh, appearance to all these controls. These are the elevated file, it, outline it, and text button for material, the same with checkbox, and the same with the ready button. You remember the previous library, the input kit, all these controls are based on the previous library. Uh, in fact, there is a reference from this library to the previous one to get access to all these controls. This library is including the personalization to customize it and replicate the material design but the control is defined in the input kit library so let's take a look to this library first of all we are going to take a quick look to the code we have this font awesome and material icon libraries where we have of course access to all the big list of icons for example amic the material font and the same with the font awesome font then we have the uranium ui with uh, different options to manage page etc but the controls are defined here in the uranium ui material and for example we can take a look to the data grid control a really complex control but it's a control again created by composition it's a control created that uh, for example the base element is a frame and then based on different options properties etc it's creating the hierarchy for example adding rows etc just using other elements like labels like box views etc to render the different rows columns etc 
We have also here the tab view, we have other controls and the usage of the library, it's really easy, it's used as the reference to the package, it's available on Nugget. And once we have the reference, we only need to add a reference to the namespace of the Uranium library and get access to the control like in this way. Here we are defining the material tab view and the tab items that we have defined in the Uranium UI material library. The same happens, for example, using a data grid. Let's take a look to how to create, for example, a simple data grid. This is data grid controls, have an item source property, and there are different properties to auto format columns, alignment, different options, etc. Then we have more complex options like the selected items property to select different rows, etc. And we can create custom options used mostly defining things like the columns, the empty view, how to define every data grid column, etc. etc. There is a data template where we can define the content of every column. A really interesting control, a nice idea because there are not many options, not many libraries in the community with controls like a data grid, for example. And I really like how he's managing the templates and the styles just using different resource dictionaries to manage the theming of uh, the UI. If you have reached the end of the video, I really hope that you enjoy the content. Remember, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new content and also you can use the comment of the video to leave your feedback. See you soon!